Hey guys, Steve here today. I'm going to give you guys a new video today. Um, just letting you guys know, just a disclaimer, I'm sick. I have a sore throat. I was going to do like a whole skit and stuff like that and goof off and, you know, have a great no time. <clears throat> but as in right now, I can't do it because it's just too hard for me to do it. Um, not only that, like I have to go outside and it's like insanely cold outside. So I just, I, I don't really want to do that right now. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, here is, I'm not going to show the, the address thing. I didn't cover it, but I just, yeah. This is the AliExpress bag. It looks like a, uh, how do you say it? Like, um, I don't want to say the word, but it looks interesting. So, anyways. There you go. I'm just gonna remove that. And it's perfectly wrapped, also, by the way. Which, <clears throat> I honestly seen some reviews where people, like, said, like, oh, like, their boxes kind of looked all messed up. And it looks kind of messed up right here on this side, but it doesn't look that bad on here, but we're about to find out. It has bubble wrap, though, which is really nice. Um, now. How do I get this guy apart? Without hurting the box. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm trying to limit my talking as much as I can. Oh my goodness. This is actually <clears throat> my first bootleg figure. By the way, this is a bootleg. If everybody was curious, this is a bootleg figure from AliExpress. It's the CT Toys Amazing Spider Man 2 figure. <clears throat> oh, never mind. I was getting it all praised and like, oh, it looks perfectly fine. No, it, it's just trashed. The box is kind of smashed a little bit, so yeah, darn. But yeah, there's the little thing. You guys want to know what that is? <clears throat> I'm gonna try to take that off, but probably not because, yeah, but it's cool. That box is really cool, though. I seen the, the actual SH Figure Arts one, it is just a windowless <clears throat> box, but yeah, um, let's get this started with. The back you guys can obviously see it from this point, but here's a picture of that one. That one over right here. And it does say Bandai, which is interesting. It says Bandai Spirits or something like that. The logo, which is really nice. And there you go. And here's the top. So that is all in its glory. It feels nice though, the box feels nice. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways. Step right into it, shall we, guys? <clears throat> now I got this figure. People are gonna say like, "Oh, you got this for twenty bucks?" Uh, no, I actually got it for eleven dollars and like, I think like fifty cents or something like that. So I didn't have to pay twenty dollars. I and I only bought it for specifically for this reason. So yeah, here he is with all his fortune and glory. Um, again, I have nothing to compare it with, with, like, the actual one, but I do have my, um, Marvel Legend to have it compared to. I had to pull it off my stand, and I also painted the feet. It's not accurate, obviously, but I, I did my very best, because I'm not the best painter in the whole world. Plus, it's just my figure, so I don't mind it. But, uh, yeah, let's compare it to that. I know it's probably going to be smaller. <clears throat> uh, I usually try to be delicate with my figure too, so at least for the start. 
see. Okay. Come on. Getting this guy out of the tray is kind of a pain. Okay. So we're going to put you over here. Over. I don't want to really put it up there, actually. Put you over here. We're going to go with the hands, basically the accessories first, and then we'll go to the figure. So, I'm assuming that these are open hands. And they look really, really nice. They actually, they actually have some detail. So if you see right there, there's like the little pad that he goes like, you know, flippers and stuff like that. It's really nice. And I think on the fingertips, oh, you can't really see it. Come on. Come on. You can't really tell, but I think on the fingertips, it has a little texture thing. Because on Andrew Garfield's uh, Spider-Man glove, there's like little textures on, I think, three of his fingers. So, that's really nice. So, there's Dima 2. Which is really, really cool. <clears throat> and I believe this is the relaxed hands. Something like that. Same kind of detail a little bit it's a little pad but it looks like it's just a blob of paint but it's still nice to see it there so yeah i think that's the relaxed hands either that <coughs> it's something else and these might be the relaxed hands i don't really know they oh they do have like fists kind of i think that's the relaxed hands i don't know <coughs> And then you got a pair of flippers, or webbed swingy hands, or sw swing, god dang it, you know what I mean. So, that's nice. The paint is really nice too. And then you got <coughs> the pointing fingers. <coughs> to make that iconic thing, the pointing thing. And then he gets a buttload of accessories, <clears throat> which is really nice because I love the web accessories to Spider-Man, um, except for the Marvel Legend ones. But I, I love these. Really cool. This is the, I guess, the medium-sized ones. And then you get two of those, and you also get two small ones. They look like uh, you know, like the residue from a hot glue gun. That's pretty much what it looks like. And then, <clears throat> lastly, obviously in every SH figure arts figure, you come with the, the grabby web. So, that's nice. And then, <clears throat> the, uh, what is it, the piece of resistance is Andrew Garfield's head. Which it doesn't come with the actual um, SH figure arts head. That's also another thing too that I, why I got this. The, the knockoff one is because it comes with Andrew Garfield's head, which is really nice. Does look like accurate <coughs> compared to the Marvel Legends and maybe to the Hot Toys, obviously. Come on. Um, but it looks immaculate, though. It looks close enough, you know. It is a knockoff, so it's not going to look exactly the same. So let's get this sucker out of here. Oh, it just falls right out. Right. Okay. <coughs> Since I'm just unboxing him, I don't know how, like, he functions. Hopefully he doesn't fall apart. I can tell you this right now. Um, I was a little bit scared, too, because uh, people said that his left leg or right leg. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's a little loose, but it's not, like, um, this is a little. But it feels nice, though. It feels like an actual SH figure arts, which is really nice. Um, huh. Again, the, um, I'm experiencing this on first hand too. So if you guys are curious, it's like, oh, like you guys never, or you never bought a knockoff? No. I've never bought a knockoff <coughs> off of AliExpress. And this is my first one. And it's kind of like biting my teeth on this one or biting my tongue on this one. <laughs> Because it's like eh, $10 or $11 for um, the, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. Because I didn't want to spend $200 on the actual one or close to $200. <clears throat> but um, yeah, uh, I, I really don't know why I bought this. 
most likely it was just for the Andrew Garfield head. But holding this figure, actually, it feels really nice. I do have one issue with this, is that this butterfly joint is a little tough on this side. But I think I can probably fix it, or my brother can help me fix this. Um, but yeah, this, this guy feels kind of nice. I'm actually not disappointed at all, which is very interesting. I thought I was, because I do have the... SH Figgy Warts, uh, Miguel O'Hara, which I'll grab right, oh, grab right now, actually. <clears throat> so, my brother gave me this one. Um, he's missing, oh, wait, no, he has both talons. He was missing a talon for, at first. He is missing the kneecap, though, but this guy is actually pretty solid, though. Um, I do like this guy, but it's hard to stand him because of little tiny feet. Now this guy, he feels solid. Not gonna lie, like he he feels fun to play with and stuff like that. Which most likely I probably won't play with him <clears throat> because I don't know. Maybe I don't know. But this guy looks so good. Um, on the video right now that you guys see right now, it looks like the paint is kind of chipping off. I can guarantee right now by my naked eye. Doesn't look that bad, maybe like a little bit on the spider leg in the inner spider leg. But yeah. No paint defects that I see there. You're normally gonna get that issue, by the way, with the back logo. I don't know why they have that issue, but it's fine. Either that, it's just the lighting. I don't know, because it looks like it's not filled in, but I guarantee you it's filled in. But it looks like in the blue area, <clears throat> the paint's chipping off. Um, because I know I've seen a lot of people have like issues right here, maybe on their eyes. Interesting. Maybe it's just my lighting though, because I'm using natural sunlight. Um, but yeah, wow. He's really good posability, which is really really nice. <clears throat> so, other than that, let's get right into the posability for this guy. So, so he looks up that far, looks down that far. Uh, he has a ball joint or some joint to his head. <clears throat> I believe this is a ball joint though, at his neck. Uh, he has a butterfly joint, which honestly you need to be careful with this right one. It's like really, really stiff. So do be careful. Keep that in mind. Unless, it, you know, you guys end up getting your figure and it's not like that, then, you know, You'll be fine, but just be careful, though. Um, but yeah, it's a butterfly joint. He has a full 360 rotation at the arm. Uh, he has somewhat of a bicep swivel. For some dumb reason, I can't do it. For some dumb reason, but I can guarantee he has a bicep swivel. Dumple jointed at the elbow. Which, that's weird that it doesn't allow me to do any... Come on. I don't want to break it. Because it looks like it's going to break. But I guarantee you, it is a du double jointed. If I can figure out how to get it double jointed, then yeah. But it is double jointed though. I guarantee you that. <clears throat> so he has an ab crunch. That's how crunch he goes for. And then crunch back. That's what he looks like. And then... Um, his sp spread for his legs. Oof, oof. Actually, that one, was, that one actually kind of hurt me a little bit. Um, oof. Eek. That spread is a little sketchy right there, especially at this leg. <clears throat> it's mostly on my left side of this figure. Um, but yeah, and he's got thigh swivel, and he's got his cheeks. I'm just playing, and then double. Knee joint, uh, ankle joint, whatever you want to call it, and then to put it. I'm not the greatest at doing this, sorry. Um, but yeah, honestly, <clears throat> for $11, is really honestly not that bad. Um, so I can firmly say that the AliExpress Spider-Man figure, it, it's pretty cool. It's worth $11 and worth the $20 or whatever. Um, but yeah, like honestly, 
I would say pick him up, guys. If you guys are looking for a figure that you guys want to, like, just goof off with and just have fun with it, um, yeah, go for it, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> you're not losing a lot of money. You do get a good amount of accessories. Um, the feel of this figure is really, really nice. I thought I was going to be disappointed, but no, uh, amazingly, I've bought in, like, bootleg figures like way 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 back then and this honestly feels like it's an actual sh figure so I, I again i can't tell because i don't have the actual figure with me but i can tell you this much right now you probably won't if you never had an sh figure it's amazing spider-man 2 figure guarantee you this much right now um <clears throat> you won't tell the difference like at all well you just noticed this one yeah it's not that bad though anyways um yeah this guy's really nice i like the texture on him like i love the texture right here more than anything like it feels nice on the fingers um he just feels really solid no maybe maybe the hip joint <laughs> it's a little loose but you know feels nice i am holding him right here though but yeah no nothing's like coming loose or anything like that like this guy like this guy's i think one of his legs are kind of gimpy <clears throat> but it's bound to happen though you you did spend like ten dollars on a figure so um the only thing is is that he does not come with fists i thought it didn't but it doesn't look like these are fists these are more like grabby hands i think these are fists but um yeah it, it's fine though i mean most likely i'm gonna get him to swinging poses anyways but this guy compared to this guy come on I gotta adjust his foot. Hang on. Come on. Hang on. He's having a difficult time standing up. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness. There you go. These are really not that far off. Maybe by, maybe by an inch, possibly. But he looks really cool. <clears throat> I honestly like the red on him, when this guy. But I love the, I love the, what is it, blue, whatever, on him, and this guy. <clears throat> but I love his mask more than this one. Obviously, two paint, two different paint jobs, but, you know. I love his red, though. His red is really, really nice. It's nice and shiny. Most of everybody says, like, oh, but I don't like the shiny. But I, I love the shiny on Andrew Garfield's suit sometimes. Um, oh, man, dude, that, that joint is going to bother me. Um, unless I can figure out how to, like, <clears throat> fix that. Ugh. 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 Like, look at that. <clears throat> um, but yeah. That's my review of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Andrew Garfield figure. Which is honestly amazing. Oh, I forgot the most important part. The gate this guy off because it is a ball joint you just take it off it actually came off pretty easily and you kind of have to like jam his head in there which let me let me do it off camera actually it's a little hard i guarantee you it's a little it's or not a little hard it's just a pain in the butt so there you go he does not have an unmasked thing or the little, you know, um, what is it, mask piece or whatever. So you just kind of have to like, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. His head's all deformed though, what the hell? Like he's like, hey girl, you know. I'm trying to make him straight, but it looks weird because this neck piece right here, maybe it's because I put it on wrong? I don't know. But yeah, <clears throat> there's the Andrew head. For everybody's cures. It's on a ball joint, so you can just rip it off. Ooh, you know. You just right there. It's kind of a pain to put on. Oh, not for the mask. Um <clears throat> but yeah, this guy feels solid though. I I out of my rating out of this figure, honestly, I want to give it like an eight out of ten. <clears throat> the only thing is is that this joint right here, this right here that's that's pretty much how it goes that scares me though because i feel like i'm gonna bend it 
It's just like interesting. I don't know if that's on the regular SH Biggie Watch though. Because bending that. Oh, like it grits my teeth. And then um, this butterfly joint is just really stupid. Like it's not working for me. Um, but hey, you know, I got this for $11. So I'm happy with them. I'm content with them. That's the only issue. Um, or the only two issues that I have. Uh, these these joints are crap. I'm sorry. Wait, no, this one's fine. Yeah, this one's fine. What the heck? So it must be this one. It, oh, because there's like a little excess plastic on this one. So this one has a little bit excess plastic more than the other. <clears throat> Which is fine. You know, whatever. Can't be perfect. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but yeah. That is the figure. Figure, figure sorry. <laughs> um, again, I know that this is kind of a crummy review. Again, sorry, I'm sick. And I really, really wanted to be dedicated and actually post this video because I'm sick. But I do not care. I put, I'm pushing through it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. I mean, this guy is honestly solid. If you guys want my recommendation, I honestly recommend this figure. It's an okay figure. The delivery is honestly on time. I did get like the fast delivery day or something like that. So um, I got him uh, literally the day of that it said the 19th of this month. Um, we're in November. And the latest it would be the 22nd. I got it on the first day on the 19th. So it literally took almost, I ordered it on Thursday last week. So it only took me about like a couple of days or like four or five days. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, not bad. So, uh, if you guys order this, say, like, on a Sunday, you probably most likely get it, like, on Saturday, possibly. Um, maybe on a Monday, depending on how fast your mail carriers are. But this guy is solid, though. Not gonna lie. Anyways, before I keep babbling on, and I shouldn't be talking as much. But I hope you guys enjoy the, the, the video. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. If you guys want to see more pictures, most likely it's going to be on my Instagram. Uh, hopefully I can put a link down there. It's, it's kind of a pain to put a link in the description because sometimes it doesn't lead them to my page. It leads them to Instagram's like website. You have to log in or either that. It just like bugs out. So I'll try my very best. But my <clears throat> Instagram is JasonCastro9898. I'll just show a picture right here. And, yeah, that's relatively it. Um, this guy's solid, though. I, I can't wait to play with this guy. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe, click that notification bell down below. I really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Right?